What's up? This is your boy Carcino. We are live here for the prediction for the undercard of Mayweather versus Birdo. Now, before we get into it, we're going to do something here never done before by anybody else. Okay, anybody else in the free world has never made a prediction video like this. Okay? You know, we're going to just do the whole card because I want to make sure this is done one take, one take only. The main event, everything, all on this thing here. And what we're going to do is we're going to give you two perspectives, okay, from the same human being. I'm going to give you perspective one, a sober-minded predictions. Then we will down a couple of these experimental Heinekens that you see right here. We're going to go in there and then down a couple and come back and give you our thoughts after downing a couple of these to see if it has influence or add insights. So this is actually part of a scientific experiment you stumbled into. So enjoy. First fight that we will be going through today on the list is the um, Orlando Salido fight with Rocky Martinez. That's a can't miss fight. You know what you're going to get with those two as soon as the bell rings. Uh, Salido is going to come and by him being older, he understands that he's older. So he's going to try to lure the younger fighter in, get low and come up swinging up top with some power punches, may even throw a couple of low blows and some headbutts in there to try to rattle the young guy. They fought just a couple of months ago and it was like fight of the year. Neither guy want to rel relinquish anything to the other. But Martinez is the sharper puncher. Even though he keeps his chin straight in the air, he might get dropped and knocked down once in this fight. But I think he'll be a little bit cautious when throwing those punches to the wind. And I think he'll land the more effective shots. And I think he probably stops Orlando Salido in, I'll say, about 10 rounds. So, <clears throat> it's one down. The next fight, Ishe Smith versus Vines Monterosa. Now, Vonis has been undefeated and underrated for all a lot of his years. He gave a great fight to Eric's Laundry Lohr, which was called a draw, which I thought he won. He won the first half, and Lohr was the rising tide, and it into uh, inverted headbutts or whatever. And that's been a part of Vonis' career. He doesn't move his head, and he's been inactive. He's been sitting on the sidelines a lot. But everybody uses him in sparring because he's going to give you good work and he normally embarrasses your fighter that you're trying to make look good. So, the way I see it breaking down, I see that Vonis Monterosa is going to apply a lot of boxing knowledge and, and experience in the ring. Even though he's fought at amateurs, he's still got an amateurish style. He does not too much. He does a little bit of, and enough to win the rounds. Where Ishe Smith is more different. He's more experienced in fighting the same type of competition, but he doesn't know how to implement his style and impress his style on people. He's more of a counter puncher waiting for you to make a mistake, and then he wants to get close to go to the body. That's what Ishe, a lot of his work used to pay off at. But Ishe's problem is he is an outstanding fighter in the training camp. He does everything from A, B, C to D, but when sometimes in the ring, it doesn't always translate. He gets mentally distracted into the moment where it becomes too great for him. Then he comes out of character. He's talking tra trash to try to motivate himself to get back in the fight. And it's easy for his confidence to be lost during a bout. When he has more skill than the other fighter, then you lose into a fighter you should have beaten. Uh, I have Vonis Monterosa winning this fight by uh, a majority decision. I think it'd be uh, somebody might give one card to Ishe, but Vonis should win the fight. Now, let's get to the third fight Badu Jack. Defending his title against George Groves. Now, this is the most intriguing fight that I think on the whole marquee because 
Grove, George Groves has fought the more better competition, even though he's were you know a little you know roughed up in his couple of bouts. George Grove is going to come and bring you a fight. He's not going to come there and not make a fight out of it. The thing is, Bobby Jack has been knocked out, and so has Groves. Who has progressed, I think, since the knockout has been Badu Jack as far as keeping the distance, working on the pace. I think he was not disciplined at the time when he got knocked out. He was having trouble losing the weight and probably messed around a little bit, and it was a wake-up call for him. He got back on the ball. And since he's been on the ball, I've seen the most growth out of him than anybody else in the TMT camp. He has really gotten better. Staying behind the stick. Moving, taking smart chances, not dumb ones. And George Grove, I'm quite sure the game plan is to extend George Groves. Groves is very dangerous in the first six rounds. After that, he becomes a one-trick pony. He just wants to land a big right hand. And he telegraphs it. And it's all loopy and it's all over the place. And it allows him to be knocked out. I hope that doesn't happen in this fight uh, I picked, uh, I'm picking Badu Jack to win by decision because I don't think Jack is going to uh, knock him out. I think he'll go to the cards with him. Uh, it's going to be a great fight, though. We'll see how it plays out. And the main event, Mayweather versus Birdo. The fight you think Mayweather got won already. Well, Floyd is going to come to the ring. He's going to give him a look. He's going to give him the shoulder roll. He's going to mix the things up for Berto. Berto's been practicing against the shoulder roll. He knows that. Floyd's going to give him so many different looks. He's going to go up. He's going to go back. He's going to go low. He's going to go high. He's going to tilt. He's going to give him the whole smear. Berto's problem is he doesn't jab. Andre Berto does not jab. He does not jab enough at all. Him and Abner Mar, same problem. They like the counter punch and come forward throwing a powerful hook. Fighters who come forward throwing a hook normally get knocked out with check left hooks. Because when they throw their left hook, this whole thing is open. They're looking at where the left hook is going. They're not looking at the left hook coming back at them. Bam! So will Verto find, fall victim to the check hook? I think absolutely he will. Because he comes forward throwing everything on that left hook. Ah! That stuff gets you knocked out. You should phone call Ricky Hatton. He'll tell you all about it. Oh, yeah. He caught me with a good check hook. Yep. Check hook. Never saw it coming. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> so that, that's about the best advice I can give Berto is to protect himself. Stop dropping your jab hand and watch out for Floyd's right hand. You can't stand in front of him. Not throwing punches. Like many of Floyd's opponents, when they stand in front of him and don't throw punches, they get in trouble. So Berto says he's going to pull out a lot of pressure and won't let Floyd rest. That is the key to win in the fight. When Floyd stops and goes back and he wants to rest, you should know that and be like, I don't care what happens. I need to get there. I got to throw punches. You have to sell out to win. So is Berto willing to sell out? We should see. He has a great right uppercut on the ropes, but Floyd is very smart. He will not give you that. He will take that away from you because he will fight at a distance. But if he comes within distance, you got to be able to zip that uppercut in. He's going to try it. Madonna tried it. He took that away from Madonna, too. So that's it. I think Floyd Mayweather. <sighs> Wins this thing by uh, decision. And now, I'm going to go get messed up and you're going to get the other version. All right. Here we go. All right. This is the last one. A lot of going down. <laughs> this is the last time we spoke. I had a phone call on Skype, and I finished it's the third beer. Me and I go home to get along that well. What were we talking about?
Glory fight. Here we go. Oh, God. I didn't mean to do all that. I'm gonna put it back wherever I had it before. Right here. Alright, yeah, there we go. I was doing the same. So I don't think the experiment worked, but let's go ahead with the prediction and see if the prediction changed. It's been about 20 some odd minutes, but let's see if the prediction change. <sighs> Who's fighting? Undercard, we gonna do the undercard first. Undercard, we got, uh, I'm gonna know what the first fight. Salido versus Martinez. Salido Martinez, they just finna come out bombing them from the beginning. Martinez gonna try to throw them off with a couple of shots. It ain't gonna matter because Salido is old, he ain't gonna be able to keep up. And Martinez is gonna knock him out in like 10 rounds. So when you get to that point, the punch is gonna come. Salido's out, he's over. Now we got to go to the next fight, which is Ishe and um, Dude, uh, Monta Rosen, Vaness. Vaness is going to uh, come out, jab him to death, pop, 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 right hand, do that bounce, the Vaness bounce, pop, pop. Dude going to be on his bobblehead for a while, and Ishe got a chin like a rock. His head from out of space, so and sometimes his mind is out of space. He gonna get in the ring. He gonna get him emotional. He gonna cry. They gonna play some church music. Joe, you man, I'm gonna do this for my kids. Then he gonna lose, and then that's the fight. Next, you got my man. Uh, Who's it? George Groves. George Groves, the UK hero. He brought me in a lot of money. Because I bet every group fans in the world. I love his attitude. I love his cockiness. But against Badu Jack, he going to have to sell out early to beat him. Man. He had to come right with it. Pop, 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 pop. Start letting that right hand go, getting low. Doing the grow. <laughs> George, get low. You can come up. Bip. Get out. But it ain't stopping there. Because he will lose after six rounds. Jack been boxing him and sticking with a good jab. And Badu Jack got a stronger left than he do a right. People don't know that. So that jab hurt. He'll hurt you with the jab. Pow! You be oh, That's harder than the right hand. So, past six, Groves is done. Got to get him out before six if he grows. If not, it's over. Battle Jack will jab him to death and get a decision. Main event. Bird on Mayweather. Man, that's going to be a draw. Floyd going to beat the hell out of that boy, and they going to call it a draw. Watch out, T. They going to try to screw Floyd. Mm-hmm. They going to score that a draw. And when they score the draw, they have your money ready. They going to bring out all the stuff he done took. He took an illegal Gatorade. Gatorade is not permitted. Because Gatorade could be used to contain EPO. <laughs> but it's not in his system. But it could have been. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, but they took the test. And they found out that he didn't take it. But he could have did it. And just for the fact he could have did it, we going to throw a draw on there. Because Rocky Marciano must stand alone. Can't let the colored guy stand next to Marciano's record. What they did, everybody's going to forget about Rocky. Okay, so science experiment is now officially over. <laughs>
<laughs> what do y'all think about it? I think I'm perfectly fine. I think I'm the same human being as I was before I had like three of these. This is the third one. What's that? Six pack or 12? I think the only thing is I got a little stuck with bringing up the fight titles, which I've just done just 20 some odd minutes prior. So I'm out. Enjoy the fights. And remember, if you don't want to buy the fight on pay-per-view, you don't have to. You can go to the movie theaters and watch it for free. That's the beauty of a fight like this. You can go right down the street to the movie theater and watch it on the movie screen for about 20, 30 something bucks. Can't beat that. And oh yeah, I'm still in my Sith training. I'm getting ready for Star Wars. You better believe that. I'm going to be ready.